To me, this is a recreation of the, of the Taoist yin-yang symbol, you know, with, the, with the, the, the white paisley here, and that's what you know, and the dark paisley serpents, really, there, and the right place to be is right on the line between them, because you're sort of, you got one foot where you understand, that gives you security, and then, you know, but it's kind of dull, because, hey, you know everything that's going on there, and that isn't what people are like. They don't want just security. Dostoevsky said that in Notes from the Underground, a great, great book. And, you know, he said, and I love this, it was his, uh, an early critic, crit criticism of the notion of a political utopia. He said, look, if you gave people everything they wanted, they had nothing to eat but cake, and nothing to do but sit in warm pools and busy themselves with the continuation of the species, that was his, his lines, that the first thing they would do, well, maybe after the first week, was like go kind of half insane and smash everything up just so that something that they didn't expect would happen so that they'd have something interesting to do. And it's, it's so right because, you know, the, the, the utopian notion that if you just had all the material stuff you wanted that you'd, you'd be, well, what would you be? What, what would you do? Would, would you just sit on the couch and, and watch TV? I mean, you'd, you'd, you'd be... I don't know what, you'd be cutting yourself just for entertainment in no time flat, you know, and that's the sort of thing that people do. And so we're not adapted for security and utopia. We're adapted for a certain amount of security because, you know, we are vulnerable, but mostly we want to have one foot out where we don't know what the hell is going on because that's where you're alert and alive and tense and with it. And, and you know, I think, I believe this, and I believe it actually has something to do with the hemispheric structure of, your, of, your, of the physiology of your brain, is because the right hemisphere looks roughly adapted to what you don't know, and the left hemisphere, and this is a very, this is an oversimplification, but a useful one, is adapted to the world that you do know, and the right place for you to be is halfway between them, because that, and you can tell that, that's what's so cool, and, and this tells you that this is actually reality that's manifesting itself to you. You know that sense of active engagement you have in the world when things are working well for you, you know, where you're, where you should be at the right time. You're alert, and on top of things, and engaged, and you don't have much of a sense of time, and the sense of the tragedy of life sort of recedes, and that's when you're that's when you've got one foot when it's, where it's secure and one foot out in the unknown. And your brain signals to you that you're in the right place by making what you're doing meaningful. And that sense of meaning is actually a neurophysiological signal that you've got the forces of the cosmos properly balanced in your being at that moment. And that's why it feels so good. And now, well, what else could it possibly be? I mean, you know, our, our, our brain is capable of looking beyond our vision that's what it's for. And that sense of engagement, there's no reason to assume that that's anything but a real signal. And you can reduce it. You could say, well, the problem with being where you know only is that you don't know everything. And that's going to be a problem in the future. And the problem with being where you know nothing is, <laughs> that's just too much, man. Like, you know, you go into panic mode and because anything can happen there and you can't handle it. So you've got to mediate between those two things. You want to be secure enough so that your physiology isn't revving out of control. And you want to be out there in the unknown enough so that you keep updating yourself constantly, constantly, constantly. And that's, that's the place where information flow is maximized. And you know that because that's where you are when you're having a really interesting conversation with someone or you're gripped by a book or you're really into a movie or maybe something that you do as a... Uh, you know, apart from your work, or maybe even in your work, you're into it, and that's because you are in the right place at the right time, and your whole nervous system is signaling that to you, and I would say that's the sort of place that you should be all the time. If, of course, you can't be, because no one's perfect, but it's, that's, that's the recreation of paradise on earth. It's something like it, because you are in the right place at the right time when that is happening, subject to certain, what would you say, restrictions.